Bladesmiths here in the Forge, we've had smiths make knives out of everything from pinball machines to cars and tanks and even backhoes. Today, there's no big reveals. You're going to be making knives out of something smaller, much, much smaller. Gentlemen, what we have here is a big pile of high carbon steel drill shavings. We'd usually throw these away, but today we're gonna ask you guys to get scrappy and turn these steel shavings into a billet from which you will forge a signature blade. Good luck, your three hour starts now. Getting the canister packed as tightly as possible with these shavings and the powder is gonna be tough. I'm very familiar with canister, that's my go-to. My game plan is to get the white out in it so I can peel the can off easier. Huh, hell of a mess. End up getting white out all over my face and all over the table. I think Ryan actually ate some of the white out. <laughs> Just want to start compressing things a little bit before I really get after it. Well, I'm really impressed with Steve. He's got great heat. He's got great control of the press. He's the only one who didn't use white out, so he's just going to work with that steel pan as it is. I try to give my canister a little bit more pressure to refine those welds. And then I'm ready to take this can off. I just try to split it lengthwise. Wesley used white out and used the flash dies in order to set the welds. I imagine there's a lot of air pockets inside there. The vise keeps moving, so I'm biting the vise and trying to get this can off at the same time. 20 minutes, Blade Smiths! Steve just squinched his blade over here. Pretty straight. Ain't bad. I've got time to get to the grinder and get some of that mild steel off from the can to where I'm down to the hard steel. I'm running out of time. I've got to grind down through the mild steel to get to the hardening steel. And you get a good, solid quench. Ryan just quenched. He quenched a pretty good temperature. Yeah, a little quenched. hot. I pull it out of the oil, I see there's a slight warp in it, so I'm trying to take the warp out. Hey, there we go. All right. So Wesley has quenched his blade. One minute! I didn't see bad warps. Y'all gave me three hours. I'm using every bit of time that I can possibly use. Five, four, three, two, one. Placement, shut down your machines, drop your tools, stop what you're doing. This first round of competition is over. Blade Smiths, welcome to the strength test. The trash can stab and chop. To test the tip of your blades, I'll be stabbing them into these trash cans. And to test everything else, I'll be chopping mercilessly into them as well. Remember, this test is all about what the cans do to your blades and not what the blades do to the cans. Ryan, you're up first. You ready? Tear it up. All right. Well, Ryan, you're all in one piece. That's a good thing. Looking at your edge here, there's a lot of serrations going on. I can get my fingernail underneath it. It's, it's rolled over pretty severely. Your tip held up great. Your handle, it's square, but rounded a lot, too. So it was rotating in my hand. And I had to readjust to, to get it back. But uh, you took a bunch of scraps, and you made a, a knife that holds up against a trash can. So well done for that. All right, Steve, you see what we're up to? How you feeling? Feel good. All right. Well, Steve, this is a heavy blade. It's all still in one piece. There is, however, some rolling right here. One significant roll. As for the tip, there's some dulling that happened from, in, from going into the can. The handle, you, you left some flats on here, which is really comfortable. It kept me in place. All in all, well done. Thank you, sir. Wesley, you're up. How you feel? Ain't a word for it. <laughs> <laughs> all right.
Wow. From all of that chopping, there's a little tiny nick right here, and there's some dulling up towards the tip. It's just less sharp here than it was before. Moving back to your handle, I like this palm swell idea. It really holds me in there nicely. There's a lot of guard here. Now, you could take away almost 3 quarters of an inch of that and it'd still be a functional guard. But for a junkyard piece of pine, it held up really well. Thank you, sir. All right, bladesmiths, we're done with the trash talking. Now it's time to find out how sharp your blades are. This is the sharpness test, the letter bag slice. To test the sharpness of the edge of your blade, I'm going to take your weapon and slash across these thick leather bags. Now, unlike the strength test, this is all about what your blade's edge does to these leather bags. Ryan, you're up first. You ready for this? Let's rock. All right, Ryan, let's talk about your blade here. First up, your handle. It's comfortable. I can get a good grip in here. It's a void. I can tell where the edge is. On the first two strikes right there, you can see you got nice, clean cuts. On the third one, must have hit a dull spot right there because it didn't cut all the way through. But with two cuts like that, you will cut. Thank you. All right, Steve, it's your turn. You ready, sir? I'm ready. Steve, let's talk about your blade here. First up, your handle construction. I like the design that you have here where the belly just drops into there like a finger weld and allows my hand to feel comfortable. The blade is heavy. On the first two strikes, it didn't cut all the way through. But the third one, once you find a sweet spot and you adjust to that, it does give a very deep cut. Overall, sir, it'll cut. Thank you, sir. All right, Wesley, your turn. So you ready? Stay ready and got to get ready. All right, let's do it. All right, Wesley, let's talk about your blade here. Your handle, it's comfortable. I like that you put the weld right there so I can get my good grip. Now your edge. You have a light, fast blade here. It is sharp in here, but the design for this particular leather bag, unfortunately, it will not cut. All right, bladesmiths, the judges have evaluated the performance of your blades, and the bladesmith leaving the forge is. Wesley, your blade didn't make the cut. Please surrender your blade. I'm happy because I made it way farther than I thought it was going to make it. But uh, would like to keep pushing and keep fighting and make it to be Forge and Fire champion. But I'm proud of what I did. I've never even attempted anything like this before. First thing I'm going to do, just get back to learning, get back to evolving, and just try to make myself better. 